I took a picture of your sign out there, first uh -huh. of all, uh -huh. and it says military ID mm -hmm. or proof of military service. What is it, or it? Right on the bottom of the sign, you're the manager. You ought to know these things, right? You don't see the big white words right there on the bottom of the sign? Military ID or proof of military service required? Uh huh. Okay, so let me ask you this. Since your husband was in the military uh -huh. for 30 years, uh -huh. but you weren't, um, the Department of Veterans Affairs, you know what that is? Yes, but. Okay, so now, I have a Department of Veteran Affairs ID, which okay, should well, tell it, you. It didn't say all that, so I'm just going by that right there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It said military proof. Military service required. ID required. ID they don't say or about vet, uh, what do you call? Okay, let me, let me break it down dummy style for you here. Military ID uh -huh. or, or proof, of, proof of, military of military service, service required. required. Right. Uh huh. So, a VA card, which is Veterans Administration, you have to have been in the military in order to have okay, a Veterans well, Administration okay, card. Correct. I'm gonna Correct or not? I'm, I'm just trying to educate you. Okay, you don't have to educate me because apparently I'll just I do. Follow that right there. And tomorrow I can give you, I can give you the office phone number. You can call them and see what they say. Uh, look, is, is right your there. supervisor around? No, she's not. No, she's not. All right. When will she be in? Do you know? She'll be in in the morning. In the morning, what yes, time? Sir. Uh, she probably be here about eight. Okay. Yes, sir. About eight o'clock. Yes, All right. Yes, sir. All right. So, um, so what you're telling me is. A Veterans Administration ID. I don't know anything about administration. All I do is read that thing right there. It says military ID required. This is military ID or proof of military service required. Let me ask you this. If I brought you a DD-214, would that be good enough? I don't know. You don't know. Because, see, you don't know what it is. Right? I'll, I'll educate you a little bit about that. A DD-214 is a discharge form from the military. So that should count as proof of military service, correct? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. Okay, see, you don't know. So please, let me speak to somebody that does know. Okay, see, be here in the morning, first thing in the morning, 8 o'clock. You got her phone number? She has the, uh, she has the or do I just need to post this whole thing on, like, Facebook or something? I mean, <laughs> sir, I just do my job. Yeah, don't, sir. You make it hard. You're not all doing you your job. Do, you say, the sign says. Said you went all the way home, right, and you came back, right? So how come you can't just bring your ID up there? I didn't go home. I went down to Walmart. Oh, okay. You said you got a military ID, but you left it at home. That's what you said to me at first. This is beyond that. All right. I did find my military ID. It was in my wallet behind my other ID. Right there. You know what that is? Do you know what that is? I don't know. Let me see. Do you know what that is? <laughs> yes or no? I'm just asking you a question. Okay, well, you don't want me to look at it. Okay. No, I don't want like you to I touch said, it. Like I said, she be here first thing in the morning and you be... I'd be, you know, be glad to, to talk to you about all All right, what's that. your name? Miss Lang Taylor? Yes, sir. All right, shift runner Miss Lang Taylor, you yes, have a nice sir. day. And uh, be sure to check this out on Facebook. Yes, sir. Yeah.